Recipe for Apple Pie Ingredients Pie dough for a double crust 30 grams of sugar 1 third cup brown sugar in bags All-purpose flour, a quarter cup 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder 1 eighth teaspoon of ginger powder 1 quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, ground 6 to 7 cups of peeled and thinly sliced tart apples 1 teaspoon of lemon juice 10 grams of butter Large egg white, 1 Turbinado or coarse sugar, cinnamon powder, vanilla bean ice cream, and caramel sauce are optional. Directions Set the oven to 375 degrees. Roll out half of the dough to a circle that is 1 8 inch thick on a lightly dusted surface, transfer to a 9 inch pie pan. As you make the filling, chill. Combine the sugars, flour, and spices in a small bowl. Apples should be mixed with lemon juice in a big dish. Add sugar mixture and coat with a toss. Then, add the filling and butter. The remaining dough into a circle that is one eighth inch thick. Put over the filling. Edge trimming, ceiling, and flute. Make cuts in the top. Brush crust with frothy egg white after beating till foamy. Sprinkle with ground cinnamon and turbinado sugar, if preferred. Bake for 60 to 70 minutes on the lowest rack, or until the crust is golden brown and the filling is bubbling. If the crust starts to become too dark, cover with foil halfway through baking. On a wire rack, to cool. Serve with ice cream with caramel sauce, if preferred. Recipe for cream cheese, frosted pumpkin spice cupcakes. Ingredients. 3 quarters cup softened butter 2.5 cups of sugar 3 big room temperature eggs 15 ounces in a solid pack can of pumpkin 2 and a third cups all-purpose flour 1 teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice 1 tablespoon of baking powder 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder 14 teaspoons of salt a half teaspoon of baking soda. One eighth teaspoon of ginger root. Buttermilk, one cup. Frosting. One package, eight ounces, softened cream cheese. Twelve cups softened butter. Confectioner's sugar, four cups. Vanilla extract, one teaspoon. Two tablespoons of cinnamon powder. Directions. The oven to 350 degrees. Cream the butter and sugar in a large bowl until they are light and creamy. One at a time, beat thoroughly after each addition of an egg. Include pumpkin. Buttermilk and flour should be added to the creamed mixture alternately, mixing thoroughly after each addition. Combine the flour, pie spice, baking powder, cinnamon, salt, baking soda, and ginger. Three-fourths of the way full, line 24 muffin cups with paper. A toothpick inserted in the center should come out clean after 20 to 25 minutes of baking. After cooling for 10 minutes, transfer from pans to wire racks to finish cooling. Beat cream cheese and butter for the frosting in a large bowl until frothy. Beat till smooth after adding confectioner's sugar, vanilla, and cinnamon. Cupcakes with icing. Keep leftovers in the fridge. Favorite recipe for chicken pot pie. Ingredients. 2 cups chopped potatoes, peeled. Slices of 1.3 slash 4 cups carrots. 1 cup of cubed butter. 1 cup finely chopped onion. All-purpose flour, 1 cup. Salt, 1 and 3 quarters teaspoons. 1 tablespoon of dried thyme. A quarter cup of pepper. Three cups of chicken stock. One and a half cups whole milk. Four cups of cooked chicken cubes. Frozen peas, one cup. One cup of corn, frozen. Four sheets of chilled pie crust. Directions. The oven to 425 degrees. Put the potatoes and carrots in a big pot and fill them with water. Up to a boil. 
Reduce the heat and cook the food for 8 to 10 minutes, covered, until it is crisp tender. Melt butter over medium-high heat in a big skillet. Add the onion and stir until it is soft. Flour and spices should be well mixed in. Stir in milk and broth gradually. Stirring continuously, bring to a boil, simmer and stir for 2 minutes, or until thickened. Remove from heat and stir in the chicken, peas, corn, and potato carrot combination. Two 9-inch pie plates will need one pie crust each, which should be unrolled and trimmed to be level with the plate rims. Add the chicken mixture. Place remaining crusts over filling after unrolling. Edge shaping, sealing, and flute. Make cuts in the tops. Bake for 35 to 40 minutes, or until the crust is just beginning to brown. 15 minutes should pass before cutting. Can favorite chicken pot pie be frozen? Pies that haven't been baked should be covered and frozen. Take out of the freezer 30 minutes before baking to use, do not thaw. The oven to 425 degrees. Pies should be put on baking pans with foil covering the edges loosely. A 30-minute bake. Bake for 70 to 80 minutes more or until the crust is golden brown and a thermometer inserted in the middle registers 165 degrees, with the oven temperature reduced to 350 degrees. Tips for Chicken Pot Pie How can I keep a pot pie crust from sogginess? A wet pie crust may be avoided in a few different ways. These are our advice. Pre-bake or blind bake the crust before adding the filling to a single crust pie. Use a beaten egg white to brush the crust. This will aid in sealing the crust and stop the filling's liquid from soaking through. While the filling is still hot, pour it onto the crust, then set the pot pie in the oven right away. The filling's heat will help the crust firm. On a lower oven rack, bake the pie. Placing the pot pie on the lowest rack guarantees that the bottom of the crust will bake up crisp and golden brown since heat is concentrated at the bottom. Should I make holes in the pie crust's bottom? We do not advise poking holes. When the filling and crust are going to be cooked together, you shouldn't poke any holes in the bottom of the pastry crust. Can I make my own crust? You can utilize a handmade crust without a doubt. In fact, we advise against it. Use this simple pie crust recipe to make your own. How can I tell when my chicken pot pie is finished? When the filling is bubbling and the crust is just browned, the pot pie is ready. Unable to get enough? Cook more hearty pot pie recipes. What should I do if the pie crust's edge sags? Slumping occurs when the crust's edge slips off the pie plate's lip and falls within. Allowing the fluted crust to rest in the refrigerator for 30 to 45 minutes can lessen sagging. Recipe for Flavorful Chicken Fajitas Ingredients Split 4 tablespoons of canola oil Lemon juice, 2 teaspoons Seasoned salt, 1 and a half tablespoons 1 and a half tablespoons of dried oregano 1 and a half tablespoons of cumin powder 1 teaspoon of powdered garlic 50 milliliters of chili powder Paprika, half a teaspoon 0.5 teaspoon optionally added red pepper flakes. 1 and a half pounds of thinly sliced, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Julienne half of a medium sweet red pepper. Julienne half of a medium green pepper. For green onions, cut very thin. A half cup of minced onion. 8 inch flour tortillas, 6, warmed. Taco sauce, salsa, guacamole, chopped red onions, and sour cream are optional additions. Directions 2 tablespoons of oil, lemon juice, spices, and the chicken should all be combined in a big bowl. Coat, turn to cover. Keep chilled for a few hours. Sauté peppers and onions in the remaining oil in a big cast iron pan or another heavy skillet until crisp tender. Get rid of it and keep warm. Drain chicken and throw away marinade. 
Chicken should be cooked in the same skillet over medium-high heat for 5 to 6 minutes or until no longer pink. Re-add the pepper mixture to the pan and cook it through. Fill tortillas to the middle and fold them in half. As desired, top with toppings and fold in half. Tips for Chicken Fajitas What else can I substitute for chicken? The flexibility and adaptability of fajitas are fantastic. Utilize chicken tenders to save preparation time. Because they are a little bigger than chicken breast strips, be sure to allow enough time for them to finish cooking. You may substitute beef, tofu, or even portobello mushrooms for the chicken. Alternately, omit the protein and increase the vegetables. What garnishes are put on tortillas? There are no restrictions on toppings, so everyone can use anything they choose. Shredded cheese, sour cream, spicy sauce, salsa, pico de gallo, and guacamole are some of our faves. What is accompanied by chicken fajitas? The best way to enjoy fajitas is with handmade tortillas. Try chicken tortilla soup, tomato avocado salad, black beans with bell peppers and rice, or a vibrant corn and bean salad as side dishes.